Greetings, we'll cover a few details about, George Westinghouse and his life in a succinct manner. Here is a short rundown of his early years, education, inventions, persona, honors and accolades, demise. The railway air brake was invented, by Pennsylvania-based, American engineer and businessman, George Westinghouse Jr. He was also a pioneer in the electrical industry, and was awarded his first patent, at the age of 19. Early in the 1880s, Westinghouse recognized, the promise of employing alternating current, for the delivery of electric power and devoted all of his resources, to developing and promoting it. Also known as, George Westinghouse, Jr., famous as, American entrepreneur and engineer, who invented the railway air brake. Born, October 6, 1846, Central Bridge, New York, United States. Died, March 12, 1914, New York, New York, United States. Father, George Westinghouse Sr. Mother, Emmeline Vetter. Siblings, Henry Herman Westinghouse, Albert Westinghouse, Catherine Westinghouse Moore, John Westinghouse. Spouse, Marguerite Erskine Walker. Children, George Westinghouse III. Education, Union College, New York. Founder, Co-Founder, Westinghouse Electric Company, Westinghouse Air Brake Company, Westinghouse Electric, Union Switch and Signal, British Westinghouse. Discoveries, Inventions, Railway Air Brake. The son of machine shop owner, George Westinghouse Sr. and his wife Emmeline, George Westinghouse Jr. was born in Central Bridge, New York, in the United States, on October 6, 1846. Vetter. He frequently sharpened his mechanical abilities and gained knowledge of his family's business, as he grew older. When the Civil War started, he was 15 years old. Westinghouse was enlisted in the National Guard of New York. His parents, however, wished for him to go back home, therefore he was forced to leave his service. Westinghouse was redrafted into the military in April 1863, after persuading his parents to permit him to rejoin the service. He enlisted in Company M of the 16th New York Cavalry, rising to the rank of corporal. In December 1864, he left the army and enlisted in the Navy, serving as an acting third assistant engineer on the gunboat, USS Muscoota. He received his release in August 1865. After that, he enrolled at Union College, but left after the first term. At the age of 19, Westinghouse created his first innovation, the rotary steam engine. It was also his first creation to receive a patent. He got interested in steam engines while he was working at his father's industrial shop. Soon after, he created the Westinghouse Farm Engine, a little steam engine with a vertical boiler. His time spent serving in the Union Army during the Civil War prevented him from finishing his experiments. After the war, he returned to his father's company. When Westinghouse was 21 years old, he created a reversible frog that allowed trains to switch, hop, across lines at a junction and a car replacer that put derailed railroad cars back on the tracks. He discovered the importance of railroads in the Industrial Revolution and the need for sophisticated safety measures while serving in the army. He was further inspired by a train accident he saw on the Mohawk and Hudson Railroad. Back then, trains were manually stopped by underprivileged youths, turning mechanical brake wheels atop train cars, the youngsters were constantly at danger of being pinned between rail carriages, which Westinghouse deemed to be exceedingly dangerous. He made the choice to create an automatic braking system. As a result, he created a compressed air brake system, patented in 1869. The system to stop trains worked as intended. The brakes on the wheels were released by the mechanism using compressed air. The contemporary railway brake system that is used all over the world was influenced by Westinghouse's design. To market his technology, he founded the Westinghouse Air Brake Company. His technique was quickly adopted by several rail companies across the globe. After conducting a final test comparing the brake systems of Westinghouse and the New York Air Brake business, 
New York Central, became the last company to implement the technology. All American trains were required to have his air brake device by the Railroad Safety Appliance Act of 1893. The firm Westinghouse founded promoted not only his inventions, but also those of others. In the end, he founded more than 60 similar businesses. After developing the safe brake system, Westinghouse founded the Union Switch and Signal Company, which helped advance rail signaling technology. Using his beliefs on air brakes, he created a secure natural gas piping system in 1883. He received 38 piping equipment, patents in the next two years. Westinghouse discovered that the principle of gas valves could be extended to electricity, enabling it for larger distribution and utilization, while working on natural gas control, the alternating current AC, system, which he later made famous, transformed the electricity sector. Direct current DC, systems, like those invented by Edison were novel to the world, but in Europe, AC was progressively gaining ground. The newly developed AC systems piqued the curiosity of many American electrical engineers. Westinghouse recognized the potential of AC systems and seized the chance. He first acquired the patent rights to the Gollard and Gibbs transformer and then hired Franklin Pope and William Stanley, who had created the first usable transformer. Westinghouse sought to create a transformer that was more reliable and practical. Around that time, North American businesses were importing the AC equipment from Europe to create their systems, including Thomson Houston in Lynn. Stanley's AC demonstration system, which was constructed in Great Barrington in 1886, was supported by Westinghouse. It was the greatest advancement in AC electricity ever produced. The outcome was the first trustworthy transformer ever. Stanley's discovery stunned the globe, and he showed its usefulness by lighting up the city center Oliver Schallenberger was then employed by Westinghouse to create an AC power metering gadget. Consequently, an induction meter was constructed, the equipment made AC systems economically viable. To commercialize the systems, the Westinghouse Electric Company was founded in 1886. Now he could purchase any AC patent created anywhere in the world. However, Edison and his allies opposed the AC system, citing its health risks, and rejected the change he had brought about in the electricity sector. Eventually, the ferocious campaign against Westinghouse evolved into a judicial dispute known as the Seven Years' War. In the end, Westinghouse established the advantages of AC over DC. To bolster his argument, he used the 1888 patents for Nikola Tesla's AC technique. After that, investor J.P. Morgan combined many of Edison's businesses with those of his rivals, including Thomson Houston and Brush, to create General Electric. The case against Edison was won by Westinghouse's business. It was given the go-ahead to erect a sizable generator system in order to transform the hydropower generated by the Niagara Falls into electrical energy and use it for commercial purposes. The company of Westinghouse found itself up against General Electric, which had numerous in-house AC experts and young electrical engineers from Europe. As a result, he employed Benjamin G. Lamb in 1889 and he quickly rose to the top of his field. He first established a financially sound and efficient power supply infrastructure before concentrating on electrical power generation. The only known methods of generating electricity at the time were hydropower and reciprocating steam engines. Since he was a teenager, Westinghouse had been aware of the latter's inefficiency. As a result, he acquired the rights to Charles A. Parson's effective steam turbine and started working on its creation that he created a 300 kilowatt steam turbine by 1898, which powered his air brake facility. Westinghouse met Marguerite Erskine Walker in 1867, and the two soon became married. One son, George Westinghouse III, had six children over their 47 years of marriage. Until the financial collapse of 1907, 
when he resigned, from leading the Westinghouse business, Westinghouse remained a captain of American industry. He stopped being active in business by 1911, and his health was deteriorating. His earlier residence, Solitude, was demolished in 1918, and the city of Pittsburgh received the land for Westinghouse Park. The Westinghouse Memorial, which was paid for by his employees, was erected at Pittsburgh Skenley Park in 1930. George Westinghouse Bridge, which is also named in his honor, is located close to his Turtle Creek factory. The National Register of Historic Places first recognized the George Westinghouse Jr. birthplace and boyhood home in Central Bridge, New York, in 1986. Westinghouse received honorary admission to the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 1989. At the age of 67, George Westinghouse passed away in New York City on March 12, 1914. His initial grave was in Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx, New York, but it was moved on December 14, 1915. He was interred in Arlington National Cemetery with his wife Marguerite, who passed away three months after him as a Civil War soldier. Along with George, she had also been first buried in Woodlawn, before being transported and reburied.